Hey y'all, in this video I'm going to share what has quickly become my go-to recipe for wild duck. My family has absolutely loved this and I think you'll enjoy it too. This is going to be a hot and fast cooking method with indirect heat and also adding smoking wood to give it extra flavor. So I'm going to be doing this in my outside grill. Um, charcoal grill in my case, you can also do it with a gas grill if you have a way to smoke wood. This is what the final product is going to look like. Absolutely delicious, perfectly cooked wonderful duck flavor but quite mild and this great smoke aroma and taste that just round out the whole package. All right, the ingredient list for this is quite simple. Simply gonna be wedges of lemon, jalapeno, onion, and baking powder. And Fiesta brand, extra fancy, season it all. Of course, we'll also be using whole plucked ducks for this recipe. Now, preparation can be pretty simple but there's a couple expert tips that I wanna share with you. The first of which is it's best if you can use birds that have not been frozen before. This recipe still works if you've frozen birds and then thawed them out later. I recommend that you try to vacuum seal and freeze them and then slowly thaw them out if you can. Please don't put them in the microwave to thaw them out. I think that ruins meat personally. The second expert tip is about aging the ducks. I read an article a while back in I think it was Ducks Unlimited magazine about putting the birds, keeping the birds in the refrigerator for a while before cooking. I've been doing that with this recipe and I think it's provided great results. So what I typically do is when I get the birds home, I'll rinse them off thoroughly with fresh water, I'll pat them dry. I'll put them in the refrigerator with paper towels to soak up any juices and liquids that remain and come out of the bird over the next few days. You can also elevate them by putting it on sticks of carrot or anything else that just keeps them, the bird from sitting uh, in whatever juices and blood that comes out. Um, I've done this for up to a week in the refrigerator. A couple days, two, three days is just fine as well. So if you're planning out your meals and you can plan ahead, bring those fresh ducks home, clean them up, put them in the fridge, let them age, if you will, for a few days, I think you're going to have better results. So as I mentioned earlier, the idea with this cooking method is indirect heat. So I'm going to be using a pan as a roasting pan and a little tray that goes inside to keep the birds off the pan directly. And this will keep the birds from burning. The seasoning is pretty simple. I like to use the Fiesta brand extra fancy season at all, and I add just a tiny bit of baking powder. So generally what I do is I'll take one tablespoon of the season at all, and I'll add just a tiny bit, this is probably a sixteenth of a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix that all up, and you season the ducks with this. So I'm not exactly sure why, but I find that the baking powder improves the texture of the skin just a little bit. It feels like it crisps it just a bit more than if you just use the season at all by itself. So I recommend using this just a tiny bit of it. So here I've got two beautiful ducks that have been plucked. This one's a pintail and this one's a spoonie. They've been in the refrigerator for about four days um, and I've patted them dry again. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is squeeze some of this lemon on them and rub the skin. All right, now that we have the ducks properly lathered up with lemon, we're gonna put the season it all. You want to uh, put this in the chest cavity as well. Of course, uh, all over the bird. I love this stuff. I find that it goes really well with wild game, um, especially fowl. Uh, ducks, dove, uh, well, it's about all I've tried it on really quail, I guess, but uh, really good flavor profile. All right, so we're also gonna be stuffing these lemon wedges inside the birds, along with the pieces of jalapeno and wedges of onion. Another step that I highly recommend is to score the skin on the ducks. This allows some of the fats to, to render out and crisp up the skin a little bit better. This is actually something I normally do before applying the seasoning, but you can still do it now. You need a really sharp knife to do this in order to be able to make these little fine cuts. All right, next we're going to situate these on the roasting pan and go get the fire ready. All right, guys, so I'm going to be firing up my green egg for this. I'm using some char logs. So the objective here is to get this as hot as it'll get. Approximately 600 degrees is usually what I'm shooting for. So 
So I will say I do prefer doing this in this order, prepping the birds first and then getting the fire going, primarily for two reasons. The first is it's probably going to take you 15, 20 minutes or so to get the fire up and burning and, and get this hot. Um, and in that time, the birds are warming up to room temperature, which is going to give you a little bit more consistent cook every time. And it's also letting the birds marinate a bit in those spices. All right, so we got this thing pretty close to 600 degrees. This is going to be hot enough. It's pretty stinking hot. So the next thing I'm going to do is throw in the smoking wood, let that come to a rolling smoke, and then put the birds in. Now I've been using hickory and I like the taste of that. You can play with different woods that you would prefer. It doesn't take a lot, just a few chunks, just to get the smoke rolling. We're not going to be cooking for very long anyway. Alright, now that I've got a pretty good smoke on, I'm going to go ahead and put the birds in. Now cook times are going to vary depending on the size of the bird. So for teal, I typically do 11 minutes. For this northern shoveler, since it's just a little bit bigger, I think I'm going to go 13 minutes. For the pintail, a little bigger still, I'm going to go 15 minutes. For the mallard that I did previously, I did about 18 minutes. The birds are out and they look absolutely gorgeous. All these birds look and smell amazing, so we're going to cut into them and see what they taste like. Real quick, if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit a little tap tap on that notification cowbell because, well, because I got a fever and the only prescription is more cowbell. So make sure you hit that and leave a like. Alright guys, I don't know about y'all, but this looks like it's cooked just perfectly. We're going to start out with the spoonie. Hmm. That's the best shoveler I've ever tasted. I'll tell you what, it's really good. Very mild duck flavor, you still get a little bit of that as you're chewing through, but very mild. Nice spices and salt from the seasoning. You get that strong smoke flavor, which is great. That's delicious, I can eat that all day. All right, next is the pintail. I'm really looking forward to this. That's just amazing. Very, very mild duck flavor, if any. It, that's just awesome. I need to try another piece. Mm -hmm. I can taste that lemon just a little bit. The skin is a little crispy from that high heat. Nice and salty from the season at all and the meat just tastes fantastic. I'll tell you what, if you're one of those guys that loves a duck hunt but really kind of dreads figuring out what to do with them once you get them home, try this recipe. You're gonna thank me for it. I bet you'll pluck more of your ducks and you'll be looking forward to eating them when you get home. If you guys happen to be in the Houston area and looking for someone to cook a brisket for you or cater a party or event, be sure to check out Smokin' Drew's Barbecue on Facebook and Instagram. Really good stuff. You gotta try their smoked chickens. They are out of this world. All right, guys, that's it for this recipe. Hey, if you've got other ideas for what to call this instead of smoke roasted duck, leave comments below. Let me know when you try this recipe and what you think about it. I think you're gonna love it. Hey, guys, until next time, thanks for watching.